In this video, we're going to show a quick clip of what actual Bernard cells look like in motion. Bernard cells are hexagonal shaped structures, as shown here from Fritjof Capra's 1996 book, The Web of Life, page 87, that form when a viscous medium such as whale oil or silicon oil is heated past a certain threshold. Many of us who enter into a study of the physics of life or of human existence will invariably come across these peculiar entities about which so much is attributed, but may never actually see one in action. Bernard cells were discovered in 1900 by French physicist Henry Bernard, the results of which form the basis of his 1901 PhD dissertation, Cellular Eddies in a Horizontal Liquid Layer, done at the College of France. The following diagram shows the basic structure of Bernard cells. At low heat, the liquid is homogeneous, or as some might say, more disordered. But as the heat is turned up past a certain threshold, ordered communities of hexagonal shaped structures form, or as some would have it, self-organize into honeycomb shapes that act to transport the heat up through the center, cooling at the top, and then to transport it downward along the sides. In the 1960s, Bernard cells became famous when Belgian chemist Ile Prigogine began developing a far from equilibrium model to describe their behavior, and in doing so conceived the idea that Bernard cells are the classic example of what he called the dissipative structures, meaning structures that form far from equilibrium, that self-organize themselves into coherent patterns and evolve sort of like a living community or a living thing. Pogosian won the 1977 Nobel Prize in Chemistry for this theory. The basic message, according to Pogosian, is that ordered things such as Bernard cells can form from disorder, thus finding a tentative unification between evolution and the second law of thermodynamics. Pogosian's detailed analysis of Bernard cells, according to the 1996 views of Fritjof Capra, shows that as the system moves away farther from equilibrium, it reaches a critical point of instability at which the ordered hexagonal pattern emerges and that during convection, heat is transferred by the coherent motion of large numbers of molecules. The extrapolation of this is that the silicon oils atoms function as little individual humans and that heat acts to bring about coherent motion or in other words, evolution. Now let's take a look at a few video clips of actual Bernard cells in motion.